I think there's a tendency to think all banks are the same. But the fact is, City National is different. It is a special place, both for the people who work here and for the people who bank and invest here. If I wanted to sum up Los Angeles in 1954, I'd use three words, growth, growth, growth. In the first decades of City National Bank, Los Angeles pressed the fast forward button of its history. City National was started by a small group of entrepreneurs who said, we need a bank that's really committed to the community, committed to entrepreneurs. They felt that there should be more opportunity for the younger people who are on their way up to grow, that the then existing banks were not being very responsive. So the bank opened its doors on January 4th, 1954, a small office in Beverly Hills, with a commitment to the kind of clients that we're still committed to, entrepreneurs, investors, real estate developers, entertainment, lawyers, accountants. There wasn't a sector of entrepreneurial need in greater Los Angeles from the mid-1950s onward uh, that wasn't empowered and shaped and brought to success by the loans and guidance of City National Bank. I think one of the most interesting things about this bank in our history is we've only had three chairmen you know, three leaders of this company in 60 years. Each of our CEOs brought something a little different to the company. Something in common with all three was an entrepreneurial spirit. You cannot overstate the influence that Bram Goldsmith has had on the culture, character, and growth of City National Bank. Bram grew the company's assets from 600 million to 3.2 billion. Bram successfully guided the bank through two very serious recessions. And it was his strong relationships with our clients and the trust they had in his word that kept them loyal to us, even in the tough times. Bram also made the important decision to have City National listed on the New York Stock Exchange. When Russell became CEO, I think the bank was at a crossroads. And what Russell brought forward was a vision of what City National could be. And fast forward over 20 years, we've grown assets 900% and we've gone from a relatively small West Side Bank to a bank now in five states and in the top 25 in America. And from scratch, we've grown to manage or administer over $60 billion of client money. The reason the company has been around for 60 years is because um, from the beginning, the company has made really good decisions about what kind of business to do and what kind of business to not do. We weren't making mortgages to people that couldn't afford to pay the mortgages back. Uh, we didn't do subprime mortgages or any kind of subprime lending. At City National, all of our people keep the client in the center of their focus 24-7. Other institutions say that, but I think very few live and breathe that. We believe that, that banks are as good as two things, their balance sheet and their people. City National's success over so many years is really due to the thousands of outstanding colleagues who take such great pride in serving so well its clients and communities, supporting one another, and building value for our shareholders. I'm very grateful for all that they do. Our focus as a premier private and business bank, as a terrific investment company, I think that combined with our values and our resources and our talent is gonna take us very, very far for a long time to come.